Um, so right now we're on the path of trying to get to the networks and trying to you know actually pitch in front of some uh, network. So my question is, I haven't been there, so I just want to foresight to get prepared mentally. What kind of questions? Is this like a standard question that they ask you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, now nah, man, it's like you walk in, they they like show me your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 li no li well the ones I've been in, it's like, hey, how you doing, Johnny? Nice to meet you guys. Like what you got for me? And then you take the stage, and it's like you got to sell, man. Like Carl said, like you got to be a salesman, and you got to really like sell your work. You know what I'm saying? So I think like it's not like I mean, and and after you pitch. Then the initial questions start, you know, they'll like pick it apart. Like, so what, you know, so like, you know, why is this character like this? Or what's, you know, they'll ask certain questions. The ones I've been in, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll ask certain questions after you pitch. But for the most part, it's like you walk in, you do the traditional handshake, the awkward kind of moment of silence. And then it, <laughs> you, I mean, that's if like you don't have a previous relationship. The very first thing I think you want to you want to establish is your personal connection to the project. What I've learned is that goes a long way. Like whatever it is that inspired you, wherever this idea came from, talk a little bit about that first, right? And you're gonna that that warms them up, and it also it shows them that you are the only person that can make this because it's a specific connection you have to it. Whereas you know what I mean, like so, it's, it, it, even when you're creating ideas, I would think about that. Like I wouldn't just come up with an idea that you think is good for the market. Think about an idea that comes from a real personal experience or a real point of view, so that you're tied to it, so that they can't just like take your idea and bring someone else on to write it. That's maybe more talented, you know. So that that's one thing. The other thing is um, story, story, story. Like story is so important. And if you're doing character-driven stuff really, really flesh out these characters. Even if you don't put it in the pitch, you should know what their favorite drink is, what their flaws are, what their weaknesses are, you know, what their strengths are, like what they like to do on the weekend. Like even if that's not even in your pitch, you should have these characters really fleshed out in your head. So when they start asking you questions about the character, it'll be easy for you to talk about them, you know? Um, and the other thing that you, what you might get, it depends on where you're pitching also, but you, if you're pitching animation, one of the things that you're going to find in a lot of places, they're going to say, why does this have to be animated? So every idea that you come up with that's animated, make sure that there's a good reason for it to be animated because animation is an expensive medium. So they're not going to pump millions of dollars into a show if they can shoot it. So you will get that question a lot. I think you have to also kind of make a connection with who you're pitching to, man. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, really do your homework on, on the type of IPs they like to acquire and stuff like that. And then try to f uh, fill in the gap of what they're lacking. A lot of times, uh, you know, if you if you come with an idea that they already may have excelled at or maybe even failed at, you know, that's your opportunity to go left when everybody else goes right and come with something totally original. And like uh, Carl made a very good point, make it, let them know how important it is to you and how connected you are because you know, the minute they feel like they can pay somebody less money to make your vision, they're going to try it. And they're going to try you and it'll make you very frustrated. You know what I mean? Like, and, uh, you know, being a producer, like, I've literally had, you know, I've played beats for certain record labels, artists, producers, you know, and they act like they don't like the shit. And then, what do Eminem say? <laughs> act like I don't like it. Do you hear your idea on my shit? You know, it's real. You know what I mean? So... You have you have to definitely uh, make sure everything is protected as well, man. So, you know what I mean. So make sure all your you know eyes are dotted and t's are crossed for sure on on the legal side of things as well, because that's that's a real thing in this industry, in the entertainment industry. Uh, you know, nothing's better than an unprotected idea to people who hear ideas daily.